We've all seen police cars, but have you ever wondered what's inside them and how they work? Well, get ready to learn, because there goes a police car. Hey, there goes a police car. Hey, it goes a police car. There's more than just cars, because police and sheriffs help us wherever we are, in the cities, on the beaches, or in the mountains. So they use all kinds of vehicles, and very different equipment for each job they do. Now, the real police officers have agreed to let us pretend for the day so that all of us can learn all about police officers, their jobs, and about the great vehicles they use, like this terrific car. 247, David, come in for a call. 247, David! David that, that, that's, 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 that's Get it, it's an emergency. Call the radio. Don't enter the thing, enter the thing. I can't. Dave. No, 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 that's the monitor. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it. Um, turn that off. Uh, Deputy Becky and Deputy David in pursuit. Thank you. Thank you? You don't say thank you. You're supposed to be 10-4 or something. Get going. You're supposed right, to say 10-4 or something. It. I'm taking over. I don't know how to Hi, kids. I'm Deputy Chapin. What I'm wearing is a typical deputy sheriff's uniform. I am wearing a bulletproof vest and a Sam Brown, and we carry a magazine with extra bullets in it in case we need it. That's what a magazine looks like. We also use radios. It's a countywide radio. I can talk anywhere in the county with this radio. We also have flashlights in case even in the daytime we go into a dark place, we need flashlights. I always carry a flashlight. We also carry handcuffs in case we arrest somebody. We need to put the handcuffs on them, place them in the back seat of our car. Something very important is our guns. Every deputy sheriff carries a gun, and we only use them in emergency situations. Most of the times when deputies go out, they never need to use their guns. But, but in emergency situations, we are prepared. Nobody should use a gun unless they are properly trained with a weapon. Here's our patrol box. We carry extra equipment in this. This is our, my patrol box for inside the car. Carries reports, I take notes on it. Inside my bag, I also carry a camera in case there's an accident, I need to take pictures. And our tactical helmet. In case things get uh, a little bit busy, we need some extra protection, we just strap it on, pull down the visor, and ready for business. <laughs> Oh boy, one of the most common vehicles you'll see a police officer driving is the motorcycle. And its main use is for traffic control. That's because it's small enough to maneuver in and around cars, and it's fast enough to catch the bad guys. And here is Officer Harry. Hi. Hi, thanks for showing us the motorcycle. No Want to tell us about it a little bit? Well, this is a Kawasaki Police 1000. It's manufactured especially for police work. It's about the same bike as you can buy. And how fast does it go? 120. Mm, like that. Now I want to try the siren. Okay. Okay. Turn on a few switches here. You can. This is the button. That button. Ooh, nice. Push it the other direction. Okay. Hmm. How neat. Any more sounds? Uh -huh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now you have the uh, radio here. Yes. And then you can talk back about arresting someone back to the police station. Or chasing someone. Or chasing someone. Or, or talk to my partner. And then you or have, talk to the helicopter. Right. And you have lights in the front. Yes. Lights in the back. Lights in the back. And then uh, you have, what, the radio in here? Uh-huh. And then what's in the black box? Uh, we carry our supplies in here. Road flares, citation books, okay, and see that one? kind of thing. Let's show your road flare. Oh, yeah. This is really neat. Well, I suppose you have to get back to work now, don't you? I think so. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by. No problem. Bye.
Sometimes you just can't see enough from the ground. When looking for lost people or chasing the bad guys, it helps to be up in the air. That's where the helicopter comes in. Before we get on board, let's take a look at some of the gadgets you'll find on the outside of the helicopter. That big ball mounted underneath, the big black ball, that's a FWIR, that's the official word, but what it really is is an infrared heat sensing device. It picks up heat images. So if some, a bad guy is hiding in the bushes or if a kid is missing in the woods, it helps them spot their body heat. Off to the left is a great big spotlight, and that is so powerful that if it flies over and they shine it on you at night, it's almost like having the sun out. On the very front, you'll find a sharp thing. Looks kind of like one half of a pair of scissors. Sometimes the helicopters have to fly low, and it's very dangerous because there's a lot of telephone lines and things. If it should run into one of those telephone lines, that device will cut the line and allow the helicopter to continue. So if you're ready, I'm ready, well, let's go fly. Now you'll have to listen carefully because it's very hard to hear while inside a noisy helicopter. Captain Dave, the reason the Sheriff's Department has helicopters and we use them so much is uh, it provides us with an excellent platform to see bad guys on the ground and kids on the ground. We're able to stay up about four or five hundred feet and we can look at a whole big uh, three or four uh, house area. No problem. And it doesn't require as many deputies. Now it could be an explanation of this uh, device here. This is where the uh, on the bottom of the helicopter can actually see warm things on the ground, like uh, warm people and things like that. Correct. Uh, what we can do is we actually pick up heat sources. Sometimes it's people, sometimes it's objects. Uh, this TV screen right here is a uh, is what we call a FLIR, forward-looking infrared, and it picks up a thermal device. Hi kids, my name is Deputy Jeff. We're sitting inside a uh, typical police car uh, that we drive nowadays and we're just going to show you some of the equipment that we use here. Starting down here we have our uh, police radio. The radio uh, enables us to talk back and forth to the desk. We can get uh, calls over it or we can talk back and forth by switching the different channels to other deputies or policemen out in the field. Up above that we have um, our uh, siren and our light bar. By simply turning the switch here, we can turn on our red, yellow lights or the rotating lights that you see going around all the time. Also by switching this, we can make the siren go off if we ever need to stop anybody out in the streets. Up here we have the state of the art, it's called a mobile digital computer. Basically what it is, it's uh, just a computer system that's hooked up. It allows us to run um, vehicle license plates, uh, people, things like that. I've typed in my license plate here, and you can see it'll give me a return on the car, and it'll show that it's registered to me and that everything is current on the car. Also, it allows us to receive uh, calls over the computer here. Uh, these cars nowadays, nowadays are the newest cars um, that they've come out with. They got a little bit beefed up engine and suspension, and allows us to go out there and catch the bad guys and keep peace on the street. We're now at one of the biggest police driving schools in the country, just outside of Los Angeles, California. Driving a police car isn't something you just go do. You have to learn how to do it right. This is where they come to learn how to react to emergency situations and to do that safely. During high-speed pursuits in wet conditions, cars are a little more difficult to handle. Police work is tough. There's a lot more than just driving cars or motorcycles. To become a police officer or deputy, cadets have to train very hard. They have to study hard, too. 
and they have to get in top physical shape. This is where you're likely going to end up eventually. Mm -hmm. If you commit a crime, you're arrested and taken to jail. This is your typical jail cell. It's not a very pleasant place to be. Come on in and we'll show you the amenities. They have one toilet and one sink. Four beds made out of steel. Now, Sounds who would good. like to sleep on this cold thing? And then there's the door, of course. And once they shut this, you're going nowhere. Dave. How are we going to get out of here? But you have a key. No, I don't have the key. What do you mean you I have the key? I thought you had... Of course I don't have the key. We're not even real deputies, and you think officer, I'm going to have the key? Uh, call some. Uh, officer! Hello! Uh, not, this this is Deputy criminals. Becky! We're not real criminals. We're just pretending to be. Deputy Dave and Deputy Becky, give you an assignment, just like your first day out of the academy, and you mess it up. We're going to give you one more assignment, and if you mess it up, you're going right back to the academy and start from day one. Hi, my name is Bill Schuster. I'm a deputy with Los Angeles County Sheriff's Canine Unit, and at this time, I'd like you to meet my partner. Caster, here. Sit. This is my partner, Caster. He's a uh, six-year-old police dog. And he's been with me now for about three and a half years. And the reason why we use police dogs is because of their nose. Their nose is about a million times stronger than a human's, human beings and, and their size. They're able to go into small places that maybe we can't go into. And they can work a lot faster than we can. The, uh, another part we use for a, a police dog is to find missing kids or missing people. A lot of times their nose, being so strong that it is, they're able to go out and find people without us having to actually look for them ourselves. And he's always ready to go to work. So you ready to go to work? Come on. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. We'll see Castor at work a little later. Seeing above ground level is important in police work, but they don't always fly to do it. Being up on horseback is a very special part of police work. One of the reasons we use horses in patrol is horses are very good for moving a lot of people. When we get into a situation where there's a, a big crowd and there's some place we don't want them to be, we can take a line of horses such as uh, Snickers here and Gray here and put them in a line and we can move people back out of a big area very fast. They're also very good for uh, walking through cars and looking out over parking lots so we can see what's going on because as you can see how much higher my partners are than I am right now. They're setting up pretty high. Another thing about horses that we like is people like horses. Uh, when, they, uh, when they're around horses, they look at policemen in a very positive image. Hi, Deputy Dave, Deputy Becky. Hi. Uh, Your assignment today is mounted patrol work. Your partner today will be Cotton. Hey, Cotton. Cotton. How are you doing? You've ridden horses before, haven't you? Oh, sure. Then you'll <laughs> I can be ride fine. Horses. Go ahead and mount up. I'll hold them mount for up. you. Mount up. Come on, Dave. Wait a minute. Hold on. You need some help? Yeah, put, put your hands. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Oh, oh my gosh, Dave! It's been a while since I rode horses. Dave, I think you better stick to something simpler. <laughs> Deputy Dave, Deputy Becky, you did a pretty good job on your last assignment. But yes, sir. Of that, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We're going to give you another assignment, and that's going to be undercover, and I mean undercover. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Uh, 
This is Deputy... De <clears throat> this is Deputy Dave to Deputy Becky. I am currently in position in the dumpster. Uh, no sign of our suspect at this time. Over. Deputy Dave, this is Deputy Becky. I am also in position with composite drawing in hand. However, there is no suspect at this time. 10-4, thank you. Thank you? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, over. That's better. Deputy Dave, I'm going back into my position in the dumpster. Keep this radio frequency totally quiet until a suspect is spotted. Over. 10-4, thank you. I mean, I mean, over. Over. Again, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Everybody makes a mistake once in a while. I'm sorry, I'm sir. I'm calling the chief of police. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I'm really sorry. Listen, you look great. Well, I'm sorry. Please. Everything's okay. Here's, here's your garbage bag. Look what you've done. Here's your garbage bag. You can. I don't want my garbage. Fine. I don't want my garbage. Wherever people go, police use the best vehicle for the job, whether it's ATVs at the beach or bicycles in local neighborhoods. Deputies get to be outdoors. They get to help people and enjoy their work. So this is a good job where if you stay in school and uh, don't abuse your body by taking drugs or other things that isn't really good for you, you can become one of us, which isn't that hard, and be here like we're doing this, and this job's great. When people call 911 or your local emergency number, these dispatchers take the information and then they send it out on radio so the closest officer can respond and help. work doesn't always take place on land. That's right. It also happens in the water, and these guys are called the Harbor Patrol. So let's go find out what they do. Hi, kids. Welcome aboard the Sheriff's Harbor Patrol boat. I'm Deputy Fred. I'd like to give you a tour. This is Deputy Wayne. We're working together today. Hi, kids. I'd like to show you all of the equipment we have on board. Here are all of the radios. You recognize the computer from the police car. Here's our radar that allows us to see when it's foggy out. And we have special equipment that can show us what's underneath the patrol boat. We have equipment that'll tell us where we are. And we also carry special equipment on board. We carry a gun that doesn't shoot bullets, but it shoots rescue rope to another boat that may have broken down. So why don't we go boating? Okay, no problem. 
Deputy Dave, Deputy Becky, your first assignment is a fire drill. We want you to be able to handle a fire at sea. So if you'll grab the hose and walk it out to the end of the boat, we'll practice. Okay. Deputy Dave, Deputy Becky, here we are again. I hear you made a big splash down at the marina on this last assignment. Well, we're going to have to give you another assignment, and this is going to be one of those real special ones, and I do mean special. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. You know, Deputy Becky, this canine patrol is all right. It's pretty much. Here, Caster. Here, take that bone. <laughs> Boy, ah, you like good that? 247, David. Like that that 247, David. That's, that's us. us. Get the radio. Get the radio. Uh, 247, David. We have a report of a missing child in the park. Your job is to go find him. 10 4. An assignment. 10 4. An assignment. All right, buckle up. Are you ready, Caster? Turn, turn the lights. Lights on, siren. Here we go. Right here. Come on, Caster. Here we go. Boy. Look, maybe, maybe he's in here. He must have gone down there. Oh, look, Dave. Down here. here. Come on, Becky. He must be in here. You come down and we'll take you home, okay? All right, but that dog won't bite me, will it? No, that's Castor. He's a police dog. He's the one who found you. He's All a right. nice dog. Come on down. Deputy Dave, Deputy Becky, we're here again, but this time I'm proud of you. You kept trying, and you kept trying, and you succeeded. And I have a plaque to give you for a job well done. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's going to look good on my wall. Oh, on your wall? That would look good on my wall. On my this wall. plaque is going on this wall. Oh, of course. I knew that, sir. I knew that, sir. I knew that before you knew that. Well, we hope you've enjoyed. There goes a police car learning all about police officers, the great equipment they use, and their police dogs. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit your local library. And also remember, if you ever need help, don't hesitate in asking a police officer. 247, David, come in for a call. 247, David, that's, that's us. us. See, See you next, next time. time. Here we go, Caster. Hello. 
I'm Sherman Block, the Sheriff of Los Angeles County. Some neighborhoods are patrolled by police officers, others by deputy sheriffs. But no matter what color uniform they wear or what shape their badge is, they're all there for the same reason, to provide safety for your community. I would encourage you when you have a chance to visit a police station or a sheriff station. You'll find that you'll make many new friends and you'll come away with knowledge about how police and sheriffs operate. And don't forget, learn how to use the 911 system so that if you have an emergency, you can call so that we can help you and your family be safe. Learn your local emergency number. It could be 911 or some other number. Call if you need help. But remember, only in a real emergency. Hey kids, if you like to have fun, look for the live action video series and get in on the action now. We put you right in the middle of the action. I'm Dave and I'll be your guide. We're there, come on. Thank you. You're welcome. You and I will have lots of fun learning about some really neat stuff. Whoa, whoa. This is one of the biggest pieces of equipment on a construction site. It's a 225-ton crawler crane. Of course, I do have a tendency to get in a little trouble along the way. Things don't always go as planned. Whoops. <laughs> and there goes an airplane. We'll fly all kinds of airplanes. And there goes a fire truck. We'll see what it takes to be a real firefighter. And there goes a bulldozer. We'll actually drive some of the biggest machines in the world. And we always have lots of fun along the way. Live Action Video for Kids is dedicated to fulfilling a child's fascination for all the exciting real-life images you love to see. There's nothing else like it in the whole world. So get in on the action now and look for these other live action adventures at your local video retailer coming soon. There goes a train. There goes a race car. There goes a ship. And there goes a truck. Live action video for kids from Kid Vision. Kids will watch it again and again.